Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. There is Leon Walt. He's been shot. He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. That's one small step for man. Good morning, Vietnam! Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles. Welcome to the Howdy Boomers show on the YouTube channel. This is a daily broadcast by Baby Boomers for Baby Boomers. Join the peanut gallery, become an official member of HowdyBoomy.com, where there's great gifts and ideas for the baby boomer generation. And we're going to be talking daily about things that affect everyday life. Like, we're going to be driving gas cars rather than worried about charging someplace to take half of our life getting there. We're going to be cooking with gas rather than whatever the woke generation wants us to cook with. Uh, we're going to be worried about climate change. But unlike John Kerry, who looks like the love child between Secretariat and Jerry Seinfeld, we're going to be letting Mother Nature take care of that. We're going to go back to the days when the good guys were the cops, the bad guys were the criminals. We're going back to the days when if you were born with a penis, you were male. If you were born with a vagina, you were female. Every day we're going to be broadcasting ideas that's going to help make America great again, again. And we're going to be bringing everybody to the forefront to remember what made this country great. In the days of the old laugh-in, every day we're going to sock it to them. Sock it to me? <laughs> Welcome to the Howdy Boomer Show. Today is Flag Day. And uh, everybody honors the American flag today. Flying it high, it's a symbol of freedom around the world. Go back to many, many times where countries were against us. They were protesting us. What did they do? They burned the American flag. Uh, even our own students demonstrating in the 60s, anything that they did that wanted to show their distaste for America, they burned the American flag. Uh, the hockey team in the 1980 that won the world championship, Jim Craig draped himself with the American flag and everybody applauded. The American flag stands for freedom around the world and it's revered, hated, but uh, we should cherish it, take care of it, Always honor it. This is the greatest country in the world. Do you take a look at what's going on in our southern border now? The thousands and thousands of people who want to get into the country, you don't see that happening in Russia. You don't see that happening in China, Brazil, any place else. They want to come to America. It's the greatest country in the world, and the American flag symbolizes that. So cherish it. Honor the flag. Honor those who defend the flag, who support the flag honor the military, but the American Flag Day, fly it high, fly it on top, always supersedes any other flag you have. I was looking at news from 50 years ago, and things don't change. <clears throat> For instance, <clears throat> there was a Senator, Lowell Weicker, from the New England area, I think it was Connecticut, I'm not quite sure. Uh, they have the American Espionage Act. And that is where the FBI would spy on people. And J. Edgar Hoover, who was the FBI director at the time, told them that that act did no longer exist, that the uh, FBI no longer spies on people. But he found out, Mr. Weicker did, that there was an internal memo. No emails. Everything was paper then. There was an internal memo where J. Edgar Hoover was recruiting students to spy on other students at universities because that's where disruptions were due to Vietnam, etc. So even back then, the director of the FBI lied. They spied on Americans, and now they're being weaponized by the Democrats, by the Biden administration, to go after those who are against the democratic principles for which the woke people are dictating things are now against the Joe Biden administration, and especially against the Joe Biden family, they're going to go out and try to destroy him. For Joe Biden and his crew, where they could stand back and say, we didn't do it, it's all on their own. So that happened even 50 years ago. Roe versus Wade was 50 years ago, 1973 in January. <clears throat> Up until then, if a woman wanted an abortion, 
it was a state-by-state state proposition. And the uh, Supreme Court of the United States made it a federal law. This current Supreme Court turned that down. Now is again, a state-by-state state proposition. It does not say women cannot have abortions. But what it does say, the federal government's not going to support it, pay for it. It is not a federal right. You have to go state by state like it was 50 years ago, unlike how it's being described by the pro-abortion activists. That's how it should be, a state by state. Also, uh, Watergate was going hot and heavy. It was amazing how the scandal took down an administration, and maybe we have another one brewing. You never know. The way the media is now, the media back in the 1970s hated Richard Nixon. The media in uh, 2023 loves Joe Biden. He's always funny. Either he's falling down, making mistakes like the old grandpa at Thanksgiving that really doesn't know where he is, why he's there, but that's what's going on right now. So 50 years ago, things happened. Uh, things don't change. Americans are still Americans. They had a little league in Detroit in 1973 being sued because they did not allow girls to play baseball. Does that sound familiar? Now you have boys competing in women's or girls' sports, which is absolutely ludicrous. So history repeats itself. Crazy world. The United States, the greatest country in the world. Go to howdyboomy.com. Take a look at what we've got there. Take a look at the presents that you can get for your baby boomer grandparents, friends, memories, history, videos, puzzles. Just enjoy the site. Enjoy the videos. Enjoy the common sense. Make sure you vote this election. We're going to make America great again, again. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.